Hey Brendan, it's Thursday. Today I want to talk to you about beauty. I'm standing outside the Cathedral of St. Helena, one of the most beautiful buildings that I live nearby, like that I... First we have to understand a little bit about how beauty operates in our lives and when we feel all inspired, what's going on inside of us. As you know, I teach cooking classes and I got this great insight one day. It's true in the sense that it occurs in relationships. It's true in the sense that it occur occurs in you know, how we feel pleasure. It's true in the sense that um, it's a phenomenon that occurs when we desire something. Just to give you some background information, I'm reasonably talented at teaching these cooking classes. I have people that choose to come back and eat my food again and that's very gratifying. And, and so I think it's fair to say that I'm at least moderately good at these things. But at this particular cooking class, in all humility, Brendan, people were raving about the food that I made. I made a hollandaise sauce and a mayonnaise and I made a couple other vinaigrettes and a pan sauce and it was good. But people raved either about the hollandaise sauce or the mayonnaise. And I think there's something to this. I, I tried to sort of figure out what it was. And it's the old maxim, less is more. See, it was the only class I had that I didn't have extra sauce. I almost ran out of of sauce. Everybody got barely enough sauce to be happy. All they could say, the only criticism they could make was, man, if you only had just a little bit more of the hollandaise, or man, if I just had a little bit more of the mayonnaise. Now, I'm not trying to say something lame like all of life is a sauce, but what I am trying to say is that by not quite completing and fulfilling somebody's desire, that's how we achieve this feeling and appreciation of beauty in whatever we do. In our society, we're told we can have whatever we want, as much of it as we want. And the problem is, is we're really bad at telling ourselves, stop, and not just right. And the reality is, we are just really bad at being able to determine when to stop. In our culture, we lack this sense of taste, this ability to restrict ourselves to really get an idea of what's going on. Really get an idea of an appropriate amount of anything. It isn't just the amountedness of it, it's also being able to restrict oneself so that you can properly figure out how much beauty that you can take in at a time. And that's all dependent on the individual and their state in life. One has to create for themselves this kind of state of gratitude isn't the right word, but this humbleness, and I'm going to use the misuse the word um, terribly here, but this humbleness, the ability to accept the overwhelming beauty of things as they are, whether it's too much or too little or just right. If we cultivate this in our lives, we won't take things for granted. Now, I walk by this beautiful, and I do mean a beautiful cathedral, every day. It's a great gift. I hardly ever appreciate it. But at the times when I do appreciate, when I do slow down and say to myself, hey, I really want to enjoy what this is, it gives me this deep connection with what's true and beautiful and good in life. And this phenomenon isn't limited to cathedrals. There's a saying, you know, it's the little things in life. And it really is the little things in life. If you can just pause for a moment and just sink yourself into the intimacy of time and just fully appreciate the moment, you'll become deeply connected with something that's really true, really good, really beautiful. The process to enjoying what's deeply good and beautiful about the world is as simple as this. Pausing, taking a moment, and appreciating everything there is. Just soaking it all in, putting yourself in this place of just being in the present. That's how you experience what's good. That's how you experience what's beautiful. And that's how you experience what's true. There are thousands of places where we can find to do this everywhere we go. Whether it's at a cathedral or in the beauty of nature. Whether we're just out with friends having a good time. We can find this beauty everywhere we go. We just have to pause and put ourselves into the intimacy of the present moment. And that's how you make life more beautiful. Jen and Al's out. Brendan, you need a challenge. Uh-oh, cops. I'm worried. So worried. Anyway, for your challenge, Brendan, I want you to write about cops in space. And I want the space to have some meaning to the story. So yeah, cops in space and the space has to have meaning to the story. Be any length. Jen and Al's out.